All right, welcome back to ARC. We are here at the Mystery Food Booth for some excitement today. I have a couple guests with me. I have Tiki Hunt. Tiki, you are with UAPB. Tell me what's going on. I know you're working to fight insecure, food insecurity, so tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so as director of 4-H Youth Development, we have worked with our youth as well as our collegiates in the community with our food pantry as well as gardens in the community. Um, Grow Something Challenge Community Garden, Obafemi, is one of the one of our partners in that and someone that's really getting the word out about healthy local foods, growing your own foods to cook yourself. And that's what we're all about. We're teaching youth in the community not only how to grow food, but also how to cook food. Yeah, and I know this event has a connection to the farm to table effort. So can you touch on that a little bit? So with farm to table, we wanna teach residents not only how to cook the food, but how to grow the food, but also how to cook their own food in a healthy, in a healthy way without too many oils and fats and things like that. Yeah, and I know farm to table is a big effort um, here in Arkansas, of course, with a lot of farmland, a lot of gardening. Um, so it's really neat to see that you all are talking about that here at this event. So we also have our chef. Hey, tell us who you are. My name is Chef Manley Clark. I work at uh, Saracen Casino. I'm the executive chef. I'm also uh, representing the ACF Delta chapter. Uh, we're here to partner with all the wonderful uh, local farmers. We're going to do a cooking demonstration today with mystery baskets from the local chef, uh, the local farmers. I'm sorry. Uh, so we're excited to be here. Yeah. Awesome. So give us the full rundown of how this is going to go. Basically, we have a mystery basket. We actually have the first mystery basket oh, here. Look we're, there. we're literally going to put it together right now in our heads, you know, and put a nice plates together for people to taste. Today. All right, so you didn't, you weren't aware of these ingredients, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. No, it was no, no, no. All a mystery. All a mystery. All right, well, what would you like to tell people that are coming out to this event, coming to see this mystery food event? Just both of y'all, what would y'all like to say? I would like to say, come on out, enjoy. Um, Enjoy the local vendors, uh, of our farmers, our gardeners, um, buy local, cook your own food, be healthy, um, patronize our local chefs as well as our local community gardens. Awesome. Absolutely. And again, welcome, welcome everybody. Come on out. We're going to have great food. Like she said, lots of vendors. Please patronize the local farmers. They're, they've been working hard to bring out their produce today, so come out and get some. So do you know what you're going to cook yet? Not yet. Not yet, so you're figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Okay, you're but you're a pro chef. Yes. So you know you know you kinda have a formula in your head what Absolutely. you're gonna do, is that right? Flavor profiles. It's all about flavor profiles. Once we get, we know what we're gonna cook, we have all the accoutrements to put dishes together, we're gonna go. Sounds like a four H cooking challenge. Absolutely. Hey, <laughs> do you have a strategy? I don't. We're gonna cook. Like I said, it's all about putting flavors together. We're, you know, we build flavor from the from the ground up. So that's what we're gonna do. We're hey, I'm not cook. a very good cook, so I may need to learn something from you. So you just, you you get there. You know what you're gonna do. It's it's going well. You just kind of feel it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, like I said, we're gonna put a composed dish together, one or two bites for people to try. I promise you, you're gonna love it. Awesome. And and with this, uh, when will this food be ready? Uh, we're going to, yes, so the first demonstration is going to be at 3.30 uh, and every hour on the hour for the next four hours. All right, so you have several demonstrations yes, going on. there's going to be multiple. Awesome. All right, well, Ms. Hunt, is there anything that you'd like to add about this food demonstration? Oh, I'm excited. It sounds like a 4-H cooking challenge, and I'm excited to see what, what he's putting together. All right, and you're joining us. Is there anything you'd like to add? Uh, just support the local farmers, uh, buy local, cook local. Uh, it's very important to help out the local farmers and keeping that food system uh, growing. So, Yeah, supporting local is just wonderful. So I'm so glad that y'all are here for this effort. And how, how does this impact just the local community? And what, what does this teach them as a lesson of just supporting local? Well, it's teaching the youth entrepreneurship. Farmers were your first entrepreneurs. If people don't really realize that, they were gardening, they were bartering. And so just teaching them that is a viable career. Mm -hmm. To be a farmer, to, to cook for others, being in service to others is a viable career. Absolutely. I think that's wonderful. All right. Well, next we're going to take a look back in the studio with James Bryant for our Weather Why. Stick with us. We have more going on today at Juneteenth in Pine Bluff.